Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be talking about organelles. So the specific organelles we're going to be talking about are those involved in the endomembrane system. And we're going to be talking about three of the organelles there. Um, and we'll start out with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So usually endoplasmic reticulum can be abbreviated because it is a really long word into ER, just like emergency room, same way. So what you need to know about the rough endoplasmic reticulum is that it's composed of these stacks. It's kind of just really wavy and then has a lot of folds to it. And then these folds and stacks are known as cisternae. Then the inside of the endoplasmic reticulum is known as a lumen, so all that open space within all of those folds. And specifically for the rough endoplasmic reticulum, there's ribosomes on its surface. And just as a recap, Ribosomes are the organelles that produce proteins, so they're able to take mRNA from the, um, from the nucleus and use that code to create proteins. And for the most part, anytime a ribosome is bound to a rough ER, it's going to be making proteins that are going to be exported from the cell. And the main type of proteins they make are called glycoproteins. And glycoproteins just means that there's a sugar or some type of carbohydrate connected to the protein. So these ribosomes create the protein and they get made inside the lumen. So as the uh, polypeptide continues to be made, all of it gets um, continuously put into the lumen. And then what the endoplasmic reticulum does is take those and then exports these proteins in these little sacs called vesicles. And then the place that it exports it to is called the Golgi complex. And the Golgi complex is really similar in that it's also made out of these little sacs. So it kind of looks like that. And they're called the same thing. They're also called cisternae. And what happens is that vesicle with all of the glycoprotein is going to come in and then combine onto the Golgi complex. And what the Golgi complex does with that is a lot of different roles, but it essentially prepares that glycoprotein to be exported from the cell. So it plays a huge role in exporting cell products, mostly proteins. Um, modifying these proteins in certain ways so they can be exported and then sorting as well to tell them where it, they should be put. So the Golgi complex you can think of as kind of um, the UPS office and it kind of takes in all of these packages that are being made by the cell and then decides where to ship them and how to sort them. And then third off we're going to talk about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And this is essentially the same thing as the rough endoplasmic reticulum, except it doesn't have ribosomes on it. So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays a huge role in synthesizing lipids. So that can include phospholipids, which help to make the cell membrane. So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum both play a role in forming the cell membrane of the cell. And then that can also take the form of steroids. So one example of that would be your sex hormones. Estrogen and testosterone are both steroids. And um, those are also created by your smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And the other role that it plays is that it detoxifies drugs and poisons within your body. So if you're ever putting, say, like, caffeine or nicotine into your body, 
your smooth endoplasmic reticulum is going to be the one detoxifying that so you don't get uh, too majorly hurt. But what happens is that if, it, if you uh, use drugs uh, too much, then your smooth endoplasmic reticulum becomes accustomed to it, and then your tolerance gets higher and higher, and then you have to take more and more in order to get the same effects. So don't do drugs, and those are the organelles involved in the endomembrane system.